percent were so high that he probably wouldn't need to. Oh my goodness! That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it to get on my level 2019 Grand Finals champion, TSM Tweet. Yeah, yeah, he really can. Yeah, he can, he can get a little more crazy with it, knowing that he has these toxins. Oh, man. wait, that's this it. This might be it. And there that it is! It. Mango! C9. Mango is your get on my level 2019 champion. Welcome everyone to Esports in 30, I'm Bernie Moore and this is Drew Face and we've got an incredibly hyped show today because Get On My Level was popping off in Toronto. We've got Hugs and Me's joining us to break things down today, but before we get to that, Drew, why was this so amazing? Melee is back, baby! <laughs> Melee is back! And I love it. Mango just came in there and whooped some cans. It was great. That was absolutely nuts. But why don't we get right into it? As they say, age before beauty. So let's kick things off with these Melee highlights. Just trying to come across. Hey! And he gets oh! it! Just yeah! enough on the platform. Yeah, yeah. He's... I am an ass. Oh my god, that he knew that he would let dash right away. Oh, oh he caught that? That's it. Dang. Wow, good job though by Monkey. Dude, the text from Swedish Delight to avoid the uh, the laser reset have been super good. Yeah. Oh, oh Mango, oh, that's right oh, again. Oh, that's and... again. That's it. Oh, there. Double jump off of the, uh, the the descent from the up air. Oh wow, wow. the fire burning! Oh, oh the shot in! The defensive shiny bounce and off the stage. Oh, oh my god, that was sick! <laughs> Left it at the, the most perfect of percents. Dude, all of these little openings, you gotta hit the confirms. But he gets oh, the shot. to a game five. Bring him to the final stock against Axe and then to oh, victory. Oh no. Oh my god, he's on. Oh no. Oh, 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 no. And Axe takes the set three to a race back. Still too low percent for back here to KO. Too low percent, but man, every kid hurts for H ball. Oh, he tries for the craziest time on grab. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, he gets and wins row. Wins row. Wins row. Hungry box three to a gobble. A 3 0 comeback. Oh my Ooh, god. Oh, you gotta stay. And oh. another four step. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trying to, try to style a little bit. But another shield drop into the platform cancel and a four stop. Leffen needs a grab or a knockdown right now. Wow, great crouch cancel there from Mango. Oh, oh, and he took the double jump, and that is it for winners finals. Mango with the 3 0 over left. Wow, that's actually just up tilted with Fox and, and like beat it every time. Yeah. Oh, and, oh wait. Whoa, this and edge still guard from Axe. Four tilt. Oh my. Yo. And the spike. Axe. Axe though, yo. This is a big swing game here in game three. Oh, yo. what a call out. Oh my god. Are you serious? Yeah, Leffen using a little bit of lasers oh. now because yo. he's almost in KO. Oh percent. my god, he's oh, on no, stage. Stay. The down there. Oh, go for it. And, and the Axe has done it. In losers finals here at Gobble. Yeah, yeah, he really can. Yeah, he can, he can get a little more crazy with it knowing that he has these toxins. Oh, spare. wait, that's this it. This might be it. And there it is! It. Mango! C9 Mango is your get on my level 2019 champion. The kid is back! Mango is your Gommel champion as he won his first major since 2017. To go over the Nutty Melee tournament from Gommel, we've got Hugo Hugs Gonzalez joining us. What's up, buddy? Hey, how's, how's that leg? Going, man? Good how's to be the leg here. doing? <laughs> I feel like I just saw you guys. Yeah, it was it, it was very recently. If you missed it, he was sitting right here. Yeah. He's got a nice shiny leg now. It was actually Ooh, this one. Right? Are they buddy smooth, baby? Are they buddy smooth, Hugo? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's great. All right, let's get, let's get into Gommel, though. But before we dive into the competitive stuff, you were praising Gommel um, in Toronto on Twitter. What made this event so special to you? 
Dude, uh, T.O. Joe, the, the person who was in mm -hmm. charge of running everything, and his whole staff, they just did such a good job. Like, it ran flawlessly on timing. Um, the scheduling was great. Um, the venue was awesome because it was in downtown Toronto this time, which is so much better than Mississauga, sorry to say. But, uh, uh, yeah, it was, uh, we it was just well run. And then the thing that he couldn't control that made it such a great tournament was the matches were sick, both in Ultimate and in Melee. So that just adds uh, a bonus to the whole event to just make it like on another level, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, why don't we dive into it? Cause you've been hyped about it too, Mango. Oh my God. Yeah, Mango's finally <laughs> back, baby. Mango's back to the top. And it's been like two years since he won uh, something. Well, yeah. what, what, what got Mango back to his form, man? Why, why is he looking so vintage, baby? I, I don't know, man. There's like a, there's a theory about Mother's Day Mango and it's not exactly Mother's Day, but it was, it was close, close enough, right? There just wasn't a, a major uh, during Mother's Day. Yeah. But this time, uh, you know, he comes out of the tournament right around it and all of a sudden he's just on fire. No one could touch him. And I don't know, it was just like Mango doing his thing and everything was hidden and it, the, the way he plays is just just completely natural talent and it all it all worked out man i don't know it's just beautiful to watch so what does this mean now because i mean we've been talking about it for a while like obviously that i i really think that you know the five god narrative is is kind of like way out the window a while ago um, yeah. and and this is kind of showing it too but what does this mean for the the competitive landscape of melee what's what's it looking like is everything getting shaken up are we going to see more shake up soon uh, I think we've been seeing a lot of shakeups lately with one of the only people not being shaken up is uh, Hungrybox, but him getting fifth, I think that's the first yeah. time he's placed lower than top four in like three to four years. I, I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, seeing people being capable of being Hungrybox starts to change the landscape a lot. So then you start, uh, you know, taking him down a notch and now everyone's kind of like in danger of losing to the rest of the top you mm -hmm. know, 10 to 15. So it makes things really exciting and we're, we're going to get to see a lot more diversity in, in our top eights. Well, one, one of those two, like Axe was popping off. Oh, I yeah. love I love Axe. Yeah. So to see him like do so well, he almost took down, uh, he was just short of taking down Mango as well. And when Mango was popping off, um, you yeah. know, he finished second at Genesis and now he just got second at Gommel. Um, yeah. how, how has he been so consistent in being able to like face off against the gods and put himself up there? Well, um, I think uh, against the gods, uh, he's typically got the best shot against the, the space player the spacey players like like mango and leffen and um and uh you know this time around he also took out leffen so it, it's just mm -hmm. he's got some things to figure out against the likes of hungry box and uh armada was always a problem but he's gone yeah. and then mute to king i don't even know what he's doing anymore but um <laughs> this like this landscape right now is just perfect for him because you also have someone like zane taking out all these top players and zane is probably Axe's best matchup. He just destroys Marth, and it's always been that way. Zane will yeah. eventually learn, right? But it's just everything that's going on right now, it's just a perfect mix for, for Axe to just rise further to the top. So it's really cool mm -hmm. to see. I mean, Axe has kind of been a pop-off machine lately. Like, we, we see oh. a lot of passion from him. Yeah, how you can tell. This guy loves Melee. Um, how, much do you, how much of his success do you attribute to his passion of Melee? Uh, probably like a good, good chunk of it. It's just this dude like probably loves melee more than any other player on the planet, and uh, and so so, I mean, just imagine, you know, anybody coming up through the ranks, their love of the game within the first one to two years that just drives them to just study everything and try to figure out everything. That's him for like ten plus years, and he just never it never dies down in him. So he's he's got the young man's mentality in an old man's game, and it's really it's really yeah. cool to see. All right, yeah. you, mentioned, you mentioned Hungrybox before, so let's talk about him a bit. You know, he's won every major tournament like the past nine months, except, of course, now for Gommel. Uh, he finished fifth this past weekend and was limited by Leffen and Wizzy. Uh, uh, yeah, so, like, how, how do you, how do you ex explain this right now? Like, even Wizrobe can take him down. Um, well, you know, Wizrobe has done it in the past, and, and it's not to say that Hungrybox is weak right now. It's just that, you know, people are, are starting to, to catch up and also, you know, being at the top is, especially in his position, is not the most motivating thing because people want to see him lose all the time, right? But I, I know this guy, like, uh, he'll he'll light a fire under himself at, at yeah. some point soon, and he'll just kill it again. Uh, he's still number one in the world. There's no question about it. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, people are gunning for him a lot, and people are studying the Jigglypuff matchups. Study uh, there's tape. more. Yeah, there's more Jigglypuffs coming out in the top 100. They're getting good, so people are getting more practice, more like experience. So. That's what's happening. I have a theory, actually. I okay. think yeah. after the crab, 
He's done. It's a curse, dog. It's a curse. <laughs> crab it's sucked his powers in. Yeah. <laughs> he got a space jam, dog, except the crab was a basketball. <laughs> yeah, that's a, you know, I mean, like, I'm a dirty pup main, so I'm okay with, you know, puffs on the rise right uh, now. Uh, okay, but, okay. Yeah, you know, for, for Hungry Box, so, so you do think that this was just kind of a simply a, um, you know, it's a one-off. He just had, uh, it was just a bad tournament. He's got to write it off, and he'll be back to form soon. Yeah, usually you can't, you can't call it anything more than a one-off until you see like you, you got to give someone three tournaments if it happens three times then and you start to worry about it but yeah. he's good right now i'm not i'm not worried about him that's true well one of the guys yeah. he barely was able to take down though was was even uh, moki he was the hometown favorite yeah. he was uh, nearly yeah. able to defeat hungry box we didn't get to see him attend uh, too many events but this fox really stands out what is it about moki's play that makes him so exciting to watch uh, well, he, he goes in and he's also uh, fresh, right? And he's, uh, I think what helped a lot is just he's the hometown hero, right? And yeah. in Canada, it's like it never fails. Toronto will always get one of its players into the top eight no matter what. It, either if it's none, Ryan Ford, Moki this time, yeah. it always happens. And uh, this time it was Moki's turn, man. It's just like they get the power up when they're in their hometown. It's really crazy to see. Absolutely. I mean, the Raptors need that hometown power up too, but <laughs> some, some players like Rizzy Robin and Leffen took some time to take part in Ultimate, but they finally made a full return mm -hmm. to Melee. How does that return to Melee shake things up? I mean... Uh it shakes things up a lot because a lot, a lot of times when you see players like Wizrobe or players at the top focus on ultimate, you start to think, oh, you know what? They're they're kind of done, and if they came back, I could take them. And then they come back, and then they kill it more than ever. And then you realize that when they play ultimate, they start getting new ideas in their head, and things start to look a little more fresh when they play melee. So I think with Wizzy, that might have been a refresher he needed. Same. I mean, Leffen could have done better though, and that's that's I guess that's kind of an exception. But you know, he still played well. Yeah, so, so I, I want to see if you agree with me here. Like, I've always said that it's it's really important for pros in, in anything, um, whether it's traditional sports, esports, to cross-train or at least get your mind out of the, the rut of what you're doing and, and, you know, train in something else. Do you think that's something that maybe Melee pros or even Ultimate pros should do is maybe cross over games a bit more? Because those two games are fairly different in the way you play. Do you yeah, think that they're fairly they're they're fairly different but there's some ideas that uh translate into the uh both games mm -hmm. and those 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 ideas are are what people are going to bring into melee and they'll, they'll come up with new approaches to neutral situations or punish games uh so i think it's good to take a little bit of a break in melee i uh i personally have taken one and i feel good about coming back like in mm -hmm. a couple weeks and uh, I, I'm excited to see how that ref refreshes my mentality. You don't want to just stay playing the same thing over and over, because then you get kind of stale. You need a refresher. You know what, yeah. yo, I was checking out your Twitter, dog, and you said uh -huh. that you'd be coming back to Melee at DreamHack Dallas. And now, we yes. here at Squad, we care about you, dog. You know that, right? Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, definitely yeah, care yeah. about I know you. That. So how's the Samus <laughs> doing? How's that girl doing? How's the Samus doing, dog? Well, uh, right now, she's not doing too well, but I know she's going to make the comeback. So it'll be ready by Dallas, and then it'll be even better by the uh, coming tournaments after that, for sure. Can you break down? Can you break down a bit of like what you're working on? I don't know. You don't want to give too many secrets away, but like, what's what's your regimen right now? Give us um, a scoop. And, get, and getting ready for it. Give us a oh, scoop. Oh, it's just it's just it's going to be the 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 classic training re regimen that I've always been on. It's going to be like drilling my own things to get my fundamentals down. Um, uh, playing on net play to get that human interaction going and that decision making up. And then I'm going to be attending a lot of local tournaments here in Jersey to uh, to kind of. You know, you got to train your tournament composure too. You know, stamina, not not getting annoyed, things yeah. like that. So I'll be I'll be practicing Controlling that emotions. trio of things. Yeah. Now, get back into it. looking at these tournaments coming up, obviously we just saw a huge shakeup, um, and we're, I expect to continue seeing shakeups. Is there any yeah. way you can maybe put a, a couple names out there if you expect, you know, in those top four spots, you know, top three for the next few tournaments? Who are the consistent players we're going to see? Uh, I think some. Uh, Players that are going to come up in the in the upcoming months are probably IBDW out of Tri-State area. Mm. I think he's so good and he practices right. He does the right thing. He's he's a smart player and he's he's new to this, so everything's exciting to him. Yeah. Um, um, and then I also uh, think there's a lot to to uh, see about. Um, oh, I just had him in my head. It's another. It's another dirty fox man. <laughs> uh, another dirty fox, oh no. Yeah, yeah, another, uh, okay, I forgot. I'll just keep it at IBDW for now. I think he's the hottest one to watch right now. You know, that's actually brilliant because what he's doing is he's saying he's forgetting it, but some player's gonna pop off and he's like, that's who I was talking about. Oh, absolutely. He's oh, saving okay. himself. Uh, uh, no, I know, it's fiction, it's fiction. <laughs> oh, there you go, okay, okay yeah, he got fair. the name, uh, he got Cal, the name. Uh, he's, he's, he's playing amazing, he's pissing a lot of people off, he's getting a lot of people out of their mental game. As soon as he gets his mental game uh, a little more down, then he's going to start to, you know, show his true potential, I mm -hmm. think. 
Hey, Hugs, man, unfortunately we're out of time, but it was a blast right, talking cool. to you again. Thanks for talking Gommel, and good luck with your return to Melee, buddy. All right, for sure, man. See you. Take care. Now, there was a lot more than just Melee again on my level. Let's get to the highlights and find out what went down in Smash Ultimate. My man's only ever been like kind of in a, in a polka dot frame right now. Yeah. He only gets jabbed once and then he's just like, well, I'm not going to let you continue to get any more ink. To, oh my god. Oh, what? oh my. What? Oh. I know all that wasn't all. Oh. Eight for eight, man. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Mars. You Bro, need a... I, I, needed, I needed to stop take. Oh, I needed to stop going up there. Oh. <laughs> right, But right. if you're holding out, you should be living for a while, quite a bit. If you have. Oh, oh my lord. Oh. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, 62%. Prom at full rage. Oh, unfortunate, that's attack right there. Oh my god, he finally gets it. He finally gets the read. Uh oh, air dodge getting uh, beat out right there. Waste out, gets that forward air as well. Decent damage, you got a pretty even game though. But, uh, again, you gotta, gotta account for the fact that Arson's still on stage for us. Well, it's gonna be gone now. Oh, right before it! Believe it! That was godlike. Classic, man. We got the, the old, like, student against master. You know, I love that, man. Yeah. You know they both have so much respect for each other. But right now, Nairo, no respect for the Zero Suit. Cutting him off in the air. All over the place. Um, That might be a stock. A zero oh. death from Nairo. Oh, what? Oh, Tweak with the discipline. So good. He rolled in, but he was not. Oh, he's not oh, again. Three for three. Are you kidding me? You give him one opportunity, you know he can run with it. Yeah, he's gonna push it, he's gonna push it to the limit. Uh, no lock for you. Oh, good oh catch. no, is that it? It is it, Mars Guard! Panda Global's very own East Sam taking out MK Lil in the pop off. I'm gonna say the aggressive option, but a much needed option, if I may say so myself. There's the back air again. And he got blasted on that back air, too. My boy is well off stage, so he's gonna go ahead and get back to Legend again, look at that back air. Oh, no! Oh, no. That was a back and a half. And he did not back correctly on right. that one. So, Tweak saying, get off me real quick. Or, or Mars saying, get off me real quick. That F kill. Okay, Jukes. Okay. Oh, yo, showed his hand a little bit. Here, that's going to do it. Sayonara. Wow, the crowd erupts right there, man. Fantastic gameplay from TSM Tweak. A little overzealous right there, man. Might have been expecting a, a, a spot dodge to roll away. All, both of that would have got caught. What? Okay, hold up. He's him. Oh, God. What did he get? Was that an F kill? Jeez, get him out of here. No matter. Okay, Thunder Zone's not going to be enough to quite save you here. He's going to start to bring something different to the table. He's up there on that platform. Esam staying up underneath, and that's so good. Oh, no. Esam about to play an honest game. Right? Oh, God, yeah. As soon as he came off of it, you knew that Mars was ready. Mars. Thought he had the roll read right there. But instead, he's going to go ahead and take that, uh, that double-edged dance. F took to the other side as well. Tweak adding up some great damage. Don't forget about the parry, too. And yeah, he goes out there. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Okay, gets back up onto the ledge of stage. No, that was the time he should have charged just a little bit, but I understand why he did it. He probably figured that the percents were so high that he probably wouldn't need to. Oh, oh my goodness! That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. You get on my level 2019 Grand Finals champion, TSM Tweet. Taking it over Panda Global's very own Mars. TSM Tweak is your ultimate champion at Gommel. Joining us to recap this stacked event, we've got Smash commentator Mies back in the studio. What's up? Nothing much, man. Gommel was honestly one of the best tournament experiences I've ever had. There was crazy upsets, crazy stuff all the time. The crowd was hype. I, yeah. I'm so glad I could, I could have been a part of it, man. That was nuts. Now, let's then talk about the winner, of course, uh, Tweak. Oh, my God. Oh, man, this, this boy's popping off oh, right now, and he's using Roy. Yeah, Ro he's just, right? Well, Roy's he, my boy, baby. <laughs> Roy's my boy. Man, <laughs> the whole crowd was yelling, Roy's our boy at one point. He got he went through most of the tournament using Wario, but mm -hmm. in winner's finals, uh, Mars, another player who has been playing mm -hmm. fantastic, oh, he yeah. actually put him down 2-0 with his Zero Suit Samus, and then surprising everybody, Tweak switched to Roy, which I didn't know this at the time, but he'd only been playing Roy for about a week. A week? <laughs> about a week before what? that and he ended up reverse 3 owing mars oh, and man. then going roy again um in grand yeah. finals against mars and beating Yo, him 3-1 this is back-to-back -back wins now because he won sgl before yeah. saints gaming live too yeah. like what what's what's causing this consistency is he just above and beyond anyone else right now i, I feel like when he tweeted about that mindset change yeah, yeah. like that he was really not having a good okay. time yeah. he probably changed his mindset and now he's doing amazing mm -hmm. right so that's something to expect on top of that the roy pick was 
It was something he kind of needed to do. Yeah. Way, right? His um his warrior was kind of getting bopped. Oh, by, I, uh, dude, absolutely. I feel like <laughs> his I, I don't was know, getting man. bopped by that by the Zero Suit Samus. And again, I don't think anybody even was re was ready for the Roy. I don't think Mars is ready for the Roy. No, yeah, the I, crowd definitely wasn't ready no, for the Roy. No. Um, and yeah, that reverse three roll was just it was magical to watch. So how long do you think this Roy is gonna last? Then, like, are people gonna get used to this matchup then, uh, or is you know is it something he's got to pull out just as a surprise? I thing, think or? it's gonna be more of a surprise. Okay. I still think he's gonna stick with his Wario. His Wario yeah. is still easily his best character like by far okay um i think just for maybe the zero suit matchup and a couple other weird matchups mm -hmm. that wario kind of struggles with he might pull out the roy yeah, but yeah, yeah yeah again that was it was it was shocking all right, well, let's uh, talk. You guys mentioned a few times here um, Mars as well. Tweak oh, wasn't man. the only guy who added a character, of course. Uh, Mars brought in Ike. Oh, I like Ike. 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 I like Ike. Alongside his, my his ZSS, God. right? That Ike was like. I made a tweet about it that I said, like, Michael's killing people with, like, a Wi Fi Ike. Because <laughs> yeah. he was literally just doing so much ignorant, <laughs> like, ignorant stuff, like, random forward smashes, random up smashes, like. And Esam just kept getting hit by them. Yeah. And I had no explanation for it at all. It was crazy. It that's, was crazy. That's like, yeah, he used it. I think it was just Esam used it against them. Yeah, right. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So was it just because of that matchup then, or was it like, is this a good time? Are we going to see more of his Ike, or was it just like he felt that was the best matchup, uh, you know, against Esam? Like this is this is going to work against zero him. suits. Uh, zero suit against Pikachu historically has been it's not good. <laughs> he drew like, nah, get me out of like, here. Like it's been it's been pretty butt cheeks for <laughs> zero for, for <laughs> zero. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ever Booty. since like brawl. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he definitely didn't want to do that matchup. So yeah, that like was. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, have, I have no words for it. That was crazy. I loved it. I yeah. loved it. I definitely, uh, I definitely want some push-ups on mm -hmm. that. That was ridiculous. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I, think that's, I think what's hype about it is that you know, you know, we see like having that that chance for character mix-ups. Mm -hmm. it, it seems like so important. Like you know, now that these top guys are adding secondaries, is this even harder for like the the players below them, or is this just kind of like a hype thing that they're doing right now? I gotta chime in on that. Look, right. there's 73. There's gonna be 77 <laughs> characters. characters. Some like, characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely gotta learn more than one, yeah. dude. <laughs> like especially in this type of game, uh, because let's face it, you, you can't know all the matchups, and your yeah. character can't cover all the matchups. Mm -hmm. Like there's no definitive best character in this game, so yeah. I feel like you gotta learn multiple characters. Mm -hmm. Are yeah. we are we close to a definitive character? Like who, who? Like what's kind of the tier list sitting at right now? Right now, you know, a lot of people early on. I think the last time we, I was here, we talked about it a bit too. Yeah. Um, a lot of people early on were like Peach was the best, and then it went to Peach, and then yeah, yeah. Up to like a couple weeks ago, it was Olimar, but we didn't see any Olimars in top eight. I think the highest placing Olimar was the buzz at like ninth. Yeah. And then now we saw, you know, we see Wario. And yeah, we didn't see any snakes. Roy, we, no, oh, there were no snakes, eight. no Olimars Yo, in top eight. Remember the last time I was here, <laughs> yeah. I said, I give Snake one more month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what, you I, called I said it. I give Snake one more month and we're not gonna see him in too many top eights anymore. And look, here we are. Oh my God, but, um, this guy's a genius. There's <laughs> a reason we have him here. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> but, um, like, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> I don't know. Means is great. Means is great, baby. But um, yeah, like we saw a lot of character diversity in that top ten, or that top eight, I should say. Absolutely. Ten different characters. No players were using yep. the same character, which is not something you see in Smash very often. Yeah. Usually got like those one or two guys who were both who were both main. Yeah, we even saw Joker. Somebody. Baby. We even saw Joker. We yeah. even saw MK Leo get fourth with that amazing yeah. Joker. Yeah, that's a sword character though, so it worked. It will work out. It will work out. It's a dagger. It's a dagger <laughs> well, character. The sword. Before before we get to MK Leo, I do I do want to touch on Esam because we we mentioned it before getting Ike down, but Esam actually had a better performance. Like last time, I think I, I saw him, it was placing like 22nd in a tournament. Mm -hmm. and it's like so he's obviously bounced back now uh, with an impressive losers run. Mm -hmm. What was it that changed here that allowed him? to you know get himself back up where he probably belongs i think it's just it's a confidence thing i think yeah. he's just feeling more confident in himself okay. more confident in his character it seems to be a theme here plus his fiance was there so that might have given oh, him a bit, okay. of a, a, a bit of a boost but yeah like you said Esam has been finishing in like yeah a couple top nine finishes you know some top 20 some top 30s nobody would have expected him to finish third yeah you know, yeah I, I definitely didn't i and, thought he was gonna choke yeah and he bodied nairo too yeah he definitely did. Leo, nairo cosmos yeah he bodied so many players that people had above him and he's just you know showing that he's you should be mentioning his name when you're talking about guys like cosmos guys like leo uh -huh. guys like nairo he well usually i was it was just like he hasn't been giving us anything convincing lately <laughs> right so it's like do, can we now say that he's back kind of where he, where he should be or do, should we still have a bit of that hesitation on where ecm's placing right now i think i would be hesitant because as we you see like Smash Ultimate has been a topsy turvy ride yeah, in yeah, terms yeah. of all the characters, all the players, right? Mm -hmm. So I think next next tournament might be, I don't know, MK Leo's gonna win again. Yeah. yeah. Right? So. Yeah, like you said, like Smash has been crazy. It's been really inconsistent in terms of results. Um like guys like Tweak and MK Leo are always up there. Yeah. But in yeah. terms of like the rest <laughs> of like top eight, it's just 
20 or so different people that you could I mean it's kind of exciting it's so I mean, oh, absolutely it's, it's such so for the pros exciting. that are trying to make bank but it's like yeah. it is exciting for the viewer right because yeah. it's like who's going to who's going to be up there this time I mean, right I can tell you one thing definitely not Bayonetta oh, <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> definitely not Bayonetta oh, yeah me and Drew were talking about how, how garbage Bayonetta is absolutely now. I mean like look the last game had like the very little character variety yeah. at the end of it's like I'm just glad that we got to see so many characters yeah. in this game it's very refreshing it seems to be a trend which everyone's like whichever character is like top tier in the game before is all of a sudden just booty in the next one. They do. I'm pretty sure they do that right? on like, yeah. <laughs> It was like Bayonetta like almost ruined Smash 4 for a lot of people. Uh, and then so. MK back in, in Brawl oh, as yeah. well, and then right? MK, yeah, and then uh, he was okay in Smash 4. Yeah. Wasn't the and best. then Fox has never been the same since Melee. Yeah, yeah. Was, right? He's Fox always was. been solid, but never been that yeah. dominant like you like we saw in Melee. But yeah, no, that's definitely been a trend in yeah, yeah, yeah. all the Smash games, though. All right, now we can talk about it. You guys mentioned before MK Leo using Joker. Um, I think that was he the only one that really brought Joker only, to the show here? Only one that Why? played well. I have no idea. <laughs> I have <laughs> like, absolutely so What no tools idea. does Joker have? Like, what, what, is, what does well, his character bring? Look, MK Leo is known for being a sword guy. Yeah. But Joker has a gun. Yeah. That's <laughs> why <laughs> he picked him. He's got a sword and a gun. That's exactly and that's why. exactly why he picked <laughs> that's, him. That's OP. Mm -hmm. It's super OP. <laughs> but anyways, like Joker, he has so much, so many tools yeah. to oppress people in neutral. His speed is mm -hmm. really good for zone breaking. Fantastic cobble game. But the thing that MKLeo showed, he also showed Joker's weaknesses in that uh, in that tournament because a lot of the times when Joker didn't have Arsene, this persona out to give him the boost, mm. he saw MKLeo kind of get bodied a little bit for is like for that for that duration so is that just because he didn't know how to what to do in that situation or is it just because that is an inherent flaw with the character at I this think point? it's just a flaw with the character when okay our Sen isn't out there. He struggles to get any consistent kill confirms. Mm. He struggle. He just he struggles for everything basically. And by flaw, I guess we mean balance. Yeah, it's it's, it's right? balance because when he has our Sen out, he's basically the best character in the entire game for yeah. like 30 seconds, and then, yeah. and then he goes back to being. Pretty good. Well, we saw we saw him. He still eventually switched to Lucina as well oh, mm -hmm. for I mean, against Sam, right? Against Sam, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people. He's like, like of course. Since Joker came out, a lot of people were like instantly, like day one, Pikachu was gonna like f this character. Yeah. So I think I think um, MK Leo recognizes that as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why he switched to Lucina, but unfortunately, it didn't work out for him. Mm -hmm. All right, let's focus on some of the, the Canadian players. Obviously, this is a Canadian event. Gommel's mm -hmm. uh, been around for years now. Uh, just an incredible event overall. Uh, Riddles was actually the top placing with JW just behind. Yep. Um, can you just talk to me about the Canadian talent, what we're seeing, like on, the, on a world scale right now? I told you last week, Riddles was probably the mm -hmm. best placing one. Yeah. I, I did yeah, get something wrong, yep. though. I did get something wrong, though. He What's didn't that? make top eight. He could have. Yeah, though. he could have. Esam, I remember earlier, I was talking with Rod, Esam just came out of nowhere, we were just chilling. Yeah. And he was saying that, hey, Riddles is really good. Like, he bodied him in squad strike. So, mm -hmm. unfortunately, he had to run into Esam again. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Esam got well, to especially with Esam e e going on a, just a run this yeah, tournament, yeah, right? Yeah, it, it started with Riddles. Like, yeah. He, he bopped Riddles first. But, yeah, Riddles is a fantastic player using Richter, a character that no one really uses often yeah. anymore. I hate playing um, against Richter. Oh, my God. It, 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 it is. It's but just, he's fantastic with the character. And JW is another amazing talent using Greninja. He's a Greninja loyalist. So, mm -hmm. that's the fantastic part about it. And the thing about both of those guys is they were incredibly hard. They work harder than almost anybody yeah. Like, yeah. I've ever met in this game and they've earned everything that they have now, they've completely earned it. Um, so shout out to both of them. So watching them. just on uh, TLDR then on, on the Canadian scene, uh, mm -hmm. what's what's our like, what's the cap looking like right now, in, you know, compared to, to the U.S.? Because U.S. is one of the best yeah. in Smash. Mm -hmm. um, you know, are, 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 is, no cap. are we getting close? <laughs> no is, cap. Is, is, is there still potential for these guys to raise up into the, you know, the top eights and beyond? There's so much potential. Again, like, uh, and like Drew said before, a lot of people had riddles making top eight. A, yeah. de a, a decent chunk of people thought he could potentially do it. Same thing with JW. Yeah. We saw him get ninth at a pound <laughs> yeah. um, about a mm -hmm. month ago. Um, and again, those two kids, they work so hard. The sky's the limit for both of them. I wouldn't be surprised if I see them on like that top 50 PGR ranking whenever that, cool. whenever that comes out. But yeah, they have worlds of potential. I can't wait to see how far they go. That's sick. That's sick. All right. Now that we're rounding near the end of things and Gommel's behind us, I need to get a player of the week from both of you guys. Drew, do you want to start off? Oh, I got to start off, baby. Oh, All right, we got to say the Mango, baby! Oh, man. Yeah. Man. Mango had a crazy run this Gommel, and mm -hmm. I think it's he should definitely be there. Th that's true. I mean, that, you got it. I, can, my hero. I think it's hard not to. Are you going to agree with that, or are you going to go even to someone else? I was going to say Mango until you said it. <laughs> I mean, you can agree, but, but give I, us I another, agree. yeah. Another player that I want that we talked about before was Mars. I know mm -hmm. Tweak won Gommel, but no one expected that amazing run from Mars to get all the way to second. So he has to be my player of the week. 
You yeah, have to be yeah, you awesome. know that 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 sounds fair to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to be on that mango train too because that that's was just absolutely nuts. But unfortunately, guys, that is it uh, for our Garmel talk today. But there's a lot of awesome Smash Bros tournaments coming up to get excited for. Huge thanks to Hugs for calling in today and Mies for joining us. Welcome, guys. Thanks for having me back. And hit us up on our socials at Squad State for more esports action.